is just incredible. The fire breaking out last night at the under construction apartment building in uh, downtown. Uh, let's see where are we going. This is downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. The fire quickly spread to a nearby building, and as you can see, it's just a massive fire. This was an under construction apartment building, as we said. Nearby residents were evacuated, and more than 250 customers lost power. Luckily, no injuries have been reported. The cause of that fire is under investigation. Wow, look at that. And another fire we are following in Las Vegas. Crews working to put out an apartment fire there as well. Officials say this fire started about 10 o'clock local time. The deputy fire chief says three of the apartments had people inside and they were all able to get out safely. It's not the first time the fire department has actually been to this complex. Just last week, a fire displaced more than a dozen people there. And firefighters were there just two weeks before that in late February. A very busy morning for firefighters because also breaking right now. These are pictures from the Montgomery County, Maryland Fire Department. They are on the scene of an apparent house explosion. Look at this. Just incredible. As you can see, the house has been leveled. The fire department says neighboring homes also have damage and people felt the blast from miles away. Now the Fox affiliate in DC is on the scene there right now. They're reporting some residents are unaccounted for. We are working to get more details on that breaking story. Business against Florida Gulf Coast and the number three seed is safely through. Oh, the Eagles failing to fly, losing to Florida State University in the first round of the NCAA tournament. I hate to report this. It was a close game and a heartbreaking loss for players and fans. Four in your corners, Michael Cadigan is in Orlando this morning. Good morning, Chris and Miriam. Florida Gulf Coast falling to Florida State 86 to 80 here at the Amway Center. I got a chance to catch up with Coach Dooley and his players about how they're holding up. The Eagles leaving the big dance a little earlier than they would have liked. Some with their hands on their heads, thinking about what could have been. I think uh, first half we made a lot of mistakes, um, a lot of turnovers. Uh, a lot of the, our turnovers led to them scoring. Florida State cashing in on FGCU's mistakes with dunk after thunderous dunk. But the Eagles wouldn't go down without a fight. I mean, uh, if you're on a dog, that's, that's, what's, uh, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, we get our identity from Coach. He's a hard-nosed guy. And, um, there's no quitting him and there's no quitting us either. The Eagles taking flight during the first half, even tugging away the lead just before halftime. But FSU wrestled back control. But the last 30 seconds of that first half, uh, we made a few mistakes, which led to their offense. And we were uh, down four coming out of the first half. Coach Dooley proud of his team's heart. We competed hard. We, we just had um, some stretches where we didn't make shots or took some ill-advised shots. And but FGCU's defeat doesn't darken their bright future. We see how close we are to being there. Being that close is going to be their motivator in the offseason. Uh, we're going to be working harder because uh, we don't want this feeling ever again. Plus, Coach Dooley is going to keep on expecting more and more. We've got we've got a lot of guys back next for next year, so we're, we'll, we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll hopefully get bigger, stronger add a few pieces and uh, hopefully learn some lessons. The Florida Gulf Coast players say that they're going to remember this feeling in the offseason and use it as a building block to be back again next year. Reporting in Orlando, Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, Michael. Good job out there in Orlando. Well, FGCU still has one team alive. Tomorrow, the women play in the first round of the NCAA tournament against the University of Miami. That game is in Miami. FGCU is a 13 seed. Miami, a 4 seed. That game is on ESPN tomorrow afternoon at 4.